Hello and welcome to this video where I show you how to install the UWP app, UWP app to a different hard drive or a partition. UWP app are apps that you install from the Windows Store. They stand for Universal Windows Platform App. To, to install an app on a different hard drive or a partition, open your settings app, then click on system, click storage, and select new apps will be saved to. Now I have two drives. I have the C drive, my local disk, and a D drive called Acer. I have uh, almost uh, 1.81 uh, terabytes on this drive, so I typically install bigger applications in this drive, and I keep smaller and more frequently used applications on my C drive. That is because my C, C drive is a solid state drive, whereas the D drive is a hard drive. Hard drives offer, offer large capacities but at slower speeds, whereas SSDs or solid state drives offer a uh, really huge speed. But because I have a sp less space on my SSD, I keep the apps that I use often uh, and more frequently here so they work faster and I could get my work done faster. But apps such as large games, I install on the D drive. So you could set where new apps will be installed to. Now, this is about new apps. So anytime now, from now on, if I download an app, such as this, <coughs> excuse me, it says Killer Instinct request 23.0 gigabytes. That's, uh, that's a huge app, but so if I install it, it's going to be installed on my hard drive. Now let's say, how about an app, how about an app you already ha you have al that you have already installed? How do you move an app? So let's, uh, for to move an app that you are already have installed, uh, click on the drive here in which the app is installed. Uh, you could let's click C, and s you could see how much space is being taken up by each category. It might take a while to update. Uh, here it says apps and games use uh, is using 65.6 gigabytes. Click app apps and games. It's going to show all the apps that are installed here. If if you don't see it, it might be actually installed on the other drive. So you could click here uh, and change the drive or show content from all drive. Now find the app you want to move. Let's uh, try moving this clipboard app. And then you could click the move button to move to move to a drive of your choice. If you have more than one drives or partition, you could select it. Since my only other drive is Acer, I could move it there and it's moving and it's gone now if I check my Acer drive it'll be there note that this only works with at universal Windows apps or uh, and which means the apps that are installed via the Windows Store and other universal Windows apps that are installed so if you, even if we install a universal Windows app UWP app from outside the Windows Store this will be an option this will not be an option for apps that are not universal Windows apps and those apps the move option will be grayed out as you can see, uh, other Universal Windows apps that come built into Windows, so like uh, the the apps that are installed by default when you first install Windows, some of th some of those apps won't be able av available for moving either. So, uh, but most apps you install, actually all apps you install from the Windows Store, or most apps you install from the Windows Store, uh, will be able to move be moved to another drive. So, if I go to my C drive or my D drive. All my Steam games are installed here, as well as a uh, Universal Windows app, such as Forza Motorsport. And I, uh, it's, it, this app is 20 gigabytes, almost 20 gigabytes. It's going, it's, it's too large for my C drive, so I installed it here. But if I wanted to, I could have moved it back. And notice that clipboard is now installed on this drive, and I could move it back. You can move multiple apps at a time, so you don't have to wait for one app to finish moving before moving it to another drive. Notice these are Steam games and Steam games are not Universal Windows apps, not, not yet at, at least. So Steam games cannot be moved, but there's a, another way to move Steam games and I'll have a video on that. Thank you for watching.